Okay, so I'm really, really gonna pray to God that I got the audio levels right because the first one, part zero zero, had horrible audio levels, and I don't want to do retakes. I never do retakes in life. There are no retakes, and I've had some time to relax. I swear this is all engineered. I don't know who Hannah Critchfield is. I have a sister named Hannah, but it's not. I'm not Critchfield. I'm Peterson, and. I like the lyrics. I think this is perfect, but it's, I don't have control over any of this. So this is just, this is all just circumstantial stuff. Or this is just, you know, you're looking through my computer. What can I say? This is all that I care about. All, all this right here is all that I care about. I'm not going to touch that because God knows what could be in there and in my recycling bin, but I'm just, there are no walls. We live in a digital age and I always have. I've always lived in a digital age. This looks like home. This doesn't make me think of a blonde or brunette or redhead but wow i'm getting really really in my head okay this is part one of digital let's play if you're just now starting with us you may want to start at part zero 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 but if you miss that you're not really missing anything too important ha ha he he you're missing everything you're missing the point but uh let's go ahead and start i already created my username dismal90 and i've already created my player name seth peterson if I wanted to, I could go back and restart, but like I said, part 000 of Let's Play Digital Love Story was going to give you all that information, so hate to be an asshole, but I am an asshole, and you're going to need to go back and watch that. Also, I probably need to put an explicit filter on this, because it's not meant to be explicit, but it is going to be, and I know how hard parents have it. It's not fair that they should have to censor everything their kids watch, so I, I should at least be kind enough to warn them, hey, I'm going to curse during this, so... If I don't put an actual explicit content filter, I'm at least going to put it somewhere on this. Uh, I'll try to warn that's explicit. Or I'll, honestly, I'm just going to try not to say the A word too much. Let's all be nice and be PG and not say the. Let Seth not say the. Wow, that's hard to use pronoun. How do know? The pronouns, how do they work? Exactly. Okay, um. <laughs> That's exhausted. That option's exhausted. What do we have here? We have some settings. Um, I don't want to go full screen really because I want to be able to see everything at uh, a quick glance. So, oh, I can change my screen name. I didn't know that. And my scan lines? Oh, uh, yeah, this, this feels more at home. We'll take off the scan lines. Volume. Oh, wow. In the mode. Oh, I, I'm going to turn that down, but I. I do miss those noises, those modem noises. Um, yeah. So my screen name. Well, let's do a new screen name. Let's do uh. Now this is the new channel. I didn't even think I'd be doing that. Uh, real name. It, that didn't change. Wow, this is perfect. Uh, we're not shutting down workbench though. We're keeping you open, Amy. Don't worry. I'm not shutting you down. Uh, messages though. Okay, using my new modem. Uh, Mr. Wong sent me a message. I'd better listen to this. Uh, Mr. Wong. Hey, Seth. So, you have your computer set up. I thought for Mr. Peterson's kid, I'd throw in a little something extra. That's dangerous, man. You shouldn't give me a modem. Okay, okay what'd you give me? There's a dialer for your modem. Oh, okay, you gave me the software. I 
attached to this message. If you plug it into the phone line, you can use it to dial BBS's uh, Blackboard systems and forums, I think. Um, just make sure not to run up your dad's phone bill with long lists instead of long distance calls. Okay, here's a local BBS I recommend. Again, 698 post is good. Guys, just remember that 698 If you're playing the game at home, this is where you want to take out your post notes, or even better, this is where you want to take out your Hope you enjoy your new computer, Amy Microsystems 1988. Wow, that's two years before my time, so this is old, old school. I was not even born then. I feel like a kid again. Um, okay, so there's messages. We're going to close out of this. The stars are indeed coming out, brother android. Yes, they are. I feel like a paranoid android. Uh, okay, dialer. And yeah, this is why we have our notepad. 6985519. There is no copy and paste, so... 6985519. We might be using the mnemonic soon enough, so. Yep, there's that modem. Oh god. All I can see is modem. Stars. Modem. Blonde, brunette, redheads. All the same. Wow, there's images. I need to know that image as well. I'm just kidding. I did know I played this quite a few times, but from the perspective of John Rook. Am I Rook? No, John Rook. We'll get to that. I'm sorry. No. Oh, there's system operator J Rook. I'm not John Rook. Am I again? I forgot. I'm Seth. But who am I in the game? But no, the system operator of Lake City Local is John Rook. It's open 24 hours a day. It's running a, a VOD modem. I think this is upload download speed, but I'm not sure. It's running two lines, so only two people can be connected at a time. Here's the number. The logo is by Dev Zero. So from right to Dev Zero, he designed this. Um, and it's hosted by Super BBS. No doors, no BS. Ha ha, John Rook. Just your best connection in all of Lake City. Man, I want to meet this Rook guy. I wonder what he does after this game. Ha ha, lol. Everyone needs to know. I'll go ahead and log in. Oh, well, I need a password, but it's. Yeah, I guess if I'm making a new account, I'll just type new. Um, I'd like my password. I can't use my actual passwords because I think you guys can see this, so. In case you couldn't tell, you're on one right now. A 
BBS is short for Bulletin Board System. Thank you, or I guess I was wondering that for a while. Where people come together online to post messages, share software, download text files, get sued by the uh, IRA, no, that's Napster, hold debates, and more. Thank you for paying attention. I, should I reply to this? Uh, no, this is just a, well, I don't know, maybe I should. Let's try replying. Amelia. I'm gonna get to her in a bit, but, um, computer viruses, blue sky, uh, blue sky, the first computer virus appeared on ARPANET back in the 70s, called the Creeper, it traveled across every open system on the network it could connect to, spawned a copy of itself, and, oh god, why do I have chills, that's creepy, um, <sighs> give me a second, guys, I, I'm not gonna turn the music back on to exit, but I, I've got, oh, thank you, Guys, it's take five. That's um, that might just be me, but that that music turning on. It's not intentional. It, it loops on time, but that was that was not serendipitous. That was ominous. There's a difference. Okay, the creeper. It traveled across every open system on the network it could connect to. Spawn a copy of itself. I can't tell what it was for anything anymore. It spawned a copy of itself and dumped the phrase, "I'm the creeper." Spreading like a virus across every available system on this network, self-replicated, and deleted the paper wherever it could be found. Well, let's just go ahead and reply to Blue Sky. Hopefully that's not important for I need something to calm down. That was... I'm a kid, and it's a new computer, and I'm just creeped out. So yeah, let's reply to, uh, I mean, no, let's read Amelia's poem first. Wait. You wrote me a love letter, promising that every word is true. Not confused by the signature. So remind me, who are you? Is it any good? Is it the first time I've ever written a poem before? Oh, well, she's not writing. You wrote me a love letter, promising that everyone is true, but I'm confused by the signature. So remind me, who are you? Holy crap, she doesn't even realize she's writing a poem. I don't even realize that I'm responding to her all. This is... What's going on here? Okay, guys, um, let me finish reading. Let me just read this out loud. You wrote me a love letter, Promising that every word is true, but I'm confused by the signature, so remind me, who are you? Is it any good? Is, uh, sorry, that's not a poem anymore. It's the first time I've ever written a poem before, so be brutally honest, please. I'd really like to understand poetry better. Guys, I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit bipolar, so sometimes two and two really does equal five to me, so yeah, I'm going to reply even though I shouldn't be replying to this. Some weird ominous music. I'm, I'm gonna power down and see if I can upload this. But first, let's. Oh, is this auto save? That's cool. I'm gonna do a new save file though. It's always important to have multiple saves, and it's always important to make sure that your multiple saves are there. So, it's Monday, July seventh. Uh, it's five a.m. That's correct. The system times, correct. It's very good about being correct. And we still have a. Did we always have forty-two k free? No, we really haven't used up much, have we? And uh, let's go ahead and shut down the workbench. All in save progress will be lost. Well, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I don't like that word. I don't like it one bit. But yeah, let's go ahead and exit the program. Uh, that was part one of Digital Love Story. I'm going to try to be uh, consistent and concise, but you know me, I like to ramble on. So I was just born a rambling man. Um... Thanks for listening, guys. This is Seth Peterson with channel Velvet and NyQuil. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I hope you enjoy the, uh, it's not really a performance, it's just life. But I hope you enjoy it.